Love Your Damn Self. A Guide to Radical Self-Love. Written and published by MSE Boost. Chapter 1. Embracing Your Unique Self. In a world where comparison often steals our joy and social media feeds can dictate our self-worth, the act of embracing your unique self emerges as a radical act of rebellion. This chapter is your guide to understanding and celebrating what makes you distinctly you, setting the stage for a deeper love and appreciation for yourself. The journey to self-love begins with the recognition of your own uniqueness. Each person is a blend of qualities, experiences and dreams that no one else possesses in quite the same combination. Acknowledging this fact is the first step toward building a relationship with yourself that is rooted in respect and admiration. Understanding your worth is not just about acknowledging your strengths and achievements. It's equally about embracing your vulnerabilities, your quirks, and even your perceived flaws. These aspects of your character do not diminish your value. Rather, they contribute to your individuality. When you start to see these traits as features rather than bugs in your personal makeup, you lay a foundation for genuine self-love. Breaking free from the chains of self-doubt requires a conscious effort. The internal critic that whispers you are not enough must be challenged and silenced. This begins with mindfulness paying attention to your self-talk and questioning the validity of negative thoughts. Replace criticism with compassion and comparison with appreciation for your own path. Self-acceptance is a vital component of loving yourself. It involves acknowledging where you are at this moment, not where you think you should be. This doesn't mean you stop striving for growth or improvement. Rather, it means you recognize that your worth isn't contingent on reaching a certain destination. You are enough, just as you are today. Creating a personal narrative that celebrates your uniqueness is another powerful tool in your self-love arsenal. Reflect on your life's events, the challenges you've overcome, the growth you've experienced, and how these have shaped you. Writing down your story can be a cathartic experience, offering you a tangible reminder of your resilience and strength. In addition to internal work, external actions play a crucial role in embracing your unique self. This can involve setting boundaries that protect your energy, pursuing passions that light you up, and surrounding yourself with people who appreciate you for who you are. When your external life reflects your internal values, you reinforce your sense of self-worth. Learning to celebrate your achievements, no matter how small, is also crucial. Each step you take towards your goals, every act of kindness you perform, contributes to the mosaic of your life. Acknowledging these wins reinforces your belief in your abilities and your worth. Remember, Embracing your unique self is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. There will be days when self-love feels effortless and others where it seems like a struggle. The key is to remain committed to this process, gently guiding yourself back to a place of love and acceptance whenever you stray. This chapter has laid the groundwork for building a relationship with yourself that is based on love, respect, and appreciation for your uniqueness. As you move forward, Carry with you the understanding that your individuality is your strength, and loving yourself is not just an act of personal joy, but a gift to the world around you. Your path to self-love is unique to you, and while the road may have its bumps, it's also filled with opportunities for growth, joy, and deeper connections with yourself and others. Embrace your unique self, and watch as the doors to a more fulfilling and authentic life swing wide open. Chapter 2 Breaking Free from Self-Doubt Stepping away from the shadow of self-doubt into the light of self-assurance is a transformative process that empowers you to live a life marked by joy, courage, and authenticity. This chapter is dedicated to guiding you through the maze of internal barriers that hold you back, offering practical strategies to dismantle them piece by piece. Self-doubt often whispers in our ears, telling us we're not good enough, smart enough, or capable enough to achieve our dreams or be truly loved for who we are. It's a pervasive feeling that can taint our perception of ourselves and our abilities. However, the truth is that you have the power to challenge and change these narratives. One effective strategy to combat self-doubt is to develop a habit of questioning your critical inner voice. When negative thoughts arise, pause and ask yourself, is this really true? 
More often than not, you'll find that these thoughts are based on fear rather than fact. By consistently challenging these notions, you can gradually replace them with a kinder, more supportive dialogue. Another powerful tool is to cultivate an environment that reinforces your self-esteem. This can involve surrounding yourself with people who uplift and encourage you, as well as engaging in activities that make you feel competent and valued. When your external world echoes positivity, it becomes easier to internalize those messages. Affirmations, though sometimes underestimated, are potent in rewiring our brain towards a more positive self-perception. Crafting personalized affirmations that resonate with your specific doubts and reciting them daily can anchor your mind in a more positive and self-assured reality. I am capable of achieving my goals, or I am worthy of love and respect can serve as powerful reminders of your inherent value. Setting and achieving small, manageable goals is another way to build your confidence and prove to yourself that you are capable of success. Each accomplishment, no matter how minor it may seem, is a testament to your ability and a blow to the edifice of self-doubt. Celebrate these victories, as they are concrete evidence of your competence and resilience. Learning from failure rather than allowing it to feed your self-doubt is crucial. Every setback is an opportunity for growth and learning. By reframing how you view failure, you can see it as a stepping stone rather than a stumbling block. This shift in perspective is vital in maintaining momentum and continuing to move forward despite the challenges. Self-compassion is an essential ingredient in the journey to overcome self-doubt. Treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer a friend in your situation can significantly alter your internal conversation. It's about acknowledging that being imperfect is part of the human experience and not a reason to doubt your worth or abilities. Finally, seeking support from friends, family, or professionals can provide you with additional perspectives and strategies to combat self-doubt. Sometimes, having someone else believe in us can help us start to believe in ourselves. Whether it's through conversations, therapy, or shared experiences, external support can be incredibly valuable in reinforcing your journey towards self-assurance. Remember, breaking free from self-doubt is not an overnight process. It requires patience, persistence, and a gentle approach towards yourself. By implementing these strategies and committing to a practice of self-love and self-acceptance, you're not just moving away from self-doubt, you're moving towards a fuller, more authentic version of yourself. As you apply these principles in your daily life, you'll find that the voice of self-doubt becomes quieter, and in its place, a more confident and self-assured you emerges. One who is ready to take on the world, embrace challenges, and seize opportunities with open arms. Let this be your moment to step out of the shadows and into the sunshine, fully embracing the magnificent person you are meant to be. Chapter 3 Setting Boundaries That Honor You Creating and maintaining healthy boundaries is akin to building a personal fortress that protects your peace, honors your values, and nurtures your well-being. This chapter dives into the importance of setting boundaries that reflect and respect your needs and guides you through the practicalities of establishing these essential limits in various aspects of your life. Boundaries are the lines we draw around ourselves to define where we end and others begin. They help manage the energy exchange between people, ensuring that we give and receive in ways that are healthy and balanced. Setting boundaries is a clear declaration of self-respect and a crucial step towards self-love. Understanding your needs is the first step in setting boundaries. Reflect on what makes you feel safe, respected, and valued in your relationships and interactions. Consider what behaviors or situations make you feel uncomfortable or drained. Recognizing these feelings helps identify where boundaries are needed. Communicating your boundaries is where many face challenges. The key is to express your limits clearly, calmly, and assertively. Use I statements to convey your needs without blaming or attacking the other person. For example saying, I feel overwhelmed when we don't plan our meetings in advance. I need us to schedule our sessions by the end of each week directly communicates your need without assigning fault. Expect resistance when you first start setting boundaries. 
People may be used to the old patterns of your relationships and might test your limits. Stay firm and consistent. Remind yourself that setting boundaries is not about being liked. It's about being respected. Your true well-being and the health of your relationships depend on this respect. Respecting others' boundaries is equally important. Just as you assert your own limits, be mindful and accepting of the boundaries set by others. This mutual respect builds stronger, healthier relationships founded on understanding and trust. Self-care and boundaries go hand in hand. Part of setting boundaries is recognizing when you need to say no to others to say yes to yourself. Whether it's declining an invitation because you need rest or stepping away from a toxic relationship, these decisions are acts of self-care and self-love. Practicing boundary setting starts with the small things. Begin by identifying one small boundary you can set this week. It might be something as simple as not checking emails during dinner or dedicating an hour each day to unwind without any distractions. Small successes will build your confidence and reinforce the importance of honoring your needs. Remember, boundaries are dynamic. As you grow and your life changes, your boundaries may need to adjust. Regularly check in with yourself to ensure your boundaries still serve your highest good. Be open to re-evaluating and reasserting your boundaries as necessary. In relationships, setting boundaries creates a foundation of respect and understanding. It allows for healthy interactions where both parties feel valued and heard. In the workplace, boundaries prevent burnout and promote productivity. In personal development, they enable you to prioritize your growth and well-being. Let go of the guilt associated with setting boundaries. Many fear that setting boundaries makes them selfish or unkind. On the contrary, boundaries allow you to be more compassionate and present with others because you're not overextended or resentful. They enable you to give from a place of fullness rather than obligation. As you journey through the process of setting and maintaining boundaries, Celebrate each step you take towards honoring yourself. Recognize the courage it takes to assert your needs and the strength you display in upholding them. Each boundary set is a step closer to a more authentic and fulfilling life. By now, you've learned not just the importance of setting boundaries, but also practical ways to establish and communicate them. As you implement these strategies, you'll notice a profound shift in your relationships and a deeper connection to yourself. Setting boundaries is not just about saying no to others. It's about saying yes to a life that honors and reflects your true self. Chapter 4. Nurturing Your Inner Sanctuary In the hustle of everyday life, finding moments to care for our inner self is both a challenge and a necessity. This chapter is dedicated to helping you create and maintain a sanctuary within, a space where you can retreat recharge and nurture your well-being. It's about recognizing that self-care is not a luxury, but a fundamental aspect of living a balanced and fulfilling life. Self-care is the practice of taking action to preserve or improve one's own health, and it goes beyond the occasional spa day or vacation. It involves daily habits and routines that ensure you're looking after your mental, emotional and physical health. By establishing these practices, you create a reservoir of strength and peace that helps you face life's challenges with resilience and grace. The foundation of nurturing your inner sanctuary lies in recognizing what truly replenishes you. For some, this might mean quiet time spent in nature, while for others, it could be engaging in creative pursuits or physical activities. The key is to identify activities that bring you joy, relaxation, and a sense of peace. Creating a routine that incorporates these activities can significantly impact your well-being. Start small, perhaps by dedicating a few minutes each morning to meditation, journaling, or gentle stretching. The goal is not to create a rigid schedule, but to weave moments of care into the fabric of your day, making self-nurturing as natural as breathing. Mindfulness is a powerful tool in nurturing your inner sanctuary. It involves being present and fully engaged with whatever you're doing at the moment, free from distractions or judgment. Whether you're savoring a cup of tea, taking a walk, or simply breathing deeply, mindfulness deepens the experience, turning ordinary moments into opportunities for self-care. 
Nutrition and physical health are also pillars of your inner sanctuary. Treating your body with respect by choosing nourishing foods, staying hydrated, and engaging in regular physical activity is a form of self-love. These actions signal to yourself that you are worthy of care and attention. Sleep, often overlooked, is crucial for mental and emotional health. Creating a restful environment and a calming bedtime routine can enhance the quality of your sleep, leaving you more refreshed and energized to face the day. Consider limiting screen time before bed, winding down with a book, or practicing relaxation techniques to encourage better sleep. Connection with others can also be a part of nurturing your inner sanctuary. Cultivating meaningful relationships and engaging in positive social interactions can provide emotional support and enhance your sense of belonging. Remember, self-care doesn't always mean solitude. Sometimes, it's found in the laughter and comfort of good company. Remember to be patient with yourself as you explore and implement these practices. The process of nurturing your inner sanctuary is personal and evolving. What works for you today may change tomorrow, and that's okay. The important thing is to stay connected with your needs and allow your self-care routine to adapt accordingly. As you dedicate time and effort to nurturing your inner sanctuary, you'll notice a shift in how you respond to stress and adversity. You'll find yourself more centered, more grounded, and better equipped to navigate the ups and downs of life. This sanctuary within becomes a source of strength and joy, a place where you can always return for comfort and rejuvenation. Nurturing your inner sanctuary is about more than just self-preservation. It's about thriving. It's about making a commitment to yourself to cultivate well-being, resilience, and happiness. As you continue to invest in your inner sanctuary, you'll discover that the greatest gift you can offer both yourself and the world is the healthiest, happiest version of you. Chapter 5. The Journey to Self-Forgiveness Forgiving ourselves for past mistakes, misjudgments, and failures is one of the most profound challenges we face on the path to self-love. Yet, it's also one of the most liberating actions we can take. This chapter explores the transformative power of self-forgiveness, offering insights and practical steps to help you release the weight of self-blame and move forward with compassion and understanding. Self-forgiveness is not about excusing our actions or absolving ourselves of responsibility. Instead, it's about recognizing our humanity acknowledging that, like everyone, we make mistakes. The process begins with accepting that errors are part of learning and growth, not indicators of our worth or character. Understanding the impact of holding on to guilt is crucial. Unforgiven mistakes can lead to a cycle of negative self-talk, diminished self-esteem, and even avoidance of future opportunities for fear of repeating past errors. Recognizing these consequences is the first step toward wanting to break free from the chains of self-recrimination. The act of self-forgiveness requires us to confront our actions and their repercussions head-on. This might mean reflecting deeply on the incident, acknowledging the hurt caused to ourselves or others, and understanding the circumstances that led to those choices. It's a process that requires honesty and bravery. Empathy towards oneself plays a pivotal role in self-forgiveness. Try to view your past actions with compassion, as you would for a friend. Ask yourself what you would tell someone you love if they were in your shoes. Often, we find it easier to extend grace to others than to ourselves. But recognizing this can be a powerful catalyst for change. Committing to learn from our mistakes is a constructive way to move forward. Consider what the experience taught you, how it has shaped your understanding, and what changes you can make to avoid similar mistakes in the future. This approach shifts the focus from blame to growth turning regrettable actions into valuable life lessons. Expressing your feelings and seeking closure is another important step. This could involve writing a letter to yourself, detailing your feelings about the mistake and your intentions to forgive yourself. You don't need to send or show this letter to anyone. It's a personal act of acknowledgement and forgiveness. Sometimes, making amends is possible and appropriate. If your actions hurt someone else, Consider reaching out to apologize and rectify the situation, if it's feasible to do so without causing further harm. However, 
Remember that self-forgiveness does not hinge on the forgiveness of others. It's a gift you give to yourself. Practicing daily affirmations can reinforce your commitment to self-forgiveness. Simple statements like, I am learning from my past, or I am worthy of forgiveness, can help rewire your thought patterns, gradually replacing self-criticism with self-compassion. Embracing a mindset of ongoing self-compassion is essential. Understand that self-forgiveness is not a one-time act, but a continuous practice. Mistakes will happen again, but each time, you'll be better equipped to handle them with grace and forgiveness. As you journey through the process of self-forgiveness, remember that it's a sign of strength, not weakness. It takes courage to face our imperfections and still choose to love ourselves. By embracing self-forgiveness, you're not only healing your past, but also paving the way for a future filled with self-acceptance, growth, and limitless potential. By the end of this chapter, you should feel equipped with the understanding and tools necessary to embark on your own path of self-forgiveness. It's a journey that leads to a lighter heart, a clearer mind, and a deeper, more unconditional form of self-love. Chapter 6. Rediscovering Joy in Solitude Solitude, often mistaken for loneliness, is actually a state of rich potential where one can connect deeply with oneself. This chapter is about embracing solitude, not as a void to be filled, but as a space for growth, creativity, and inner peace. Here, we explore how solitude can be a source of joy and self-discovery, guiding you to cultivate a fulfilling relationship with yourself. The first step in rediscovering joy in solitude is changing your perspective on being alone. Solitude offers the unique opportunity to tune out the noise of the world and listen to your own thoughts and desires. It's a time to get to know yourself better, to reflect on your life, and to dream about your future without external influences. Creating a solitude ritual can be a powerful way to incorporate this practice into your life. This could be a daily period of silence each morning, a regular walk in nature, or setting aside time each week for a hobby you enjoy doing alone. The key is to be intentional about this time, viewing it as a special appointment with yourself. In solitude, mindfulness becomes a transformative tool. Engaging in mindfulness or meditation practices helps you become fully present, allowing you to appreciate the moment without longing for company or distractions. It teaches you to observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment, fostering a deeper sense of inner peace and contentment. Exploring your creative side is another joy of solitude. Creativity often flourishes in quiet moments when we're free from the opinions and judgments of others. Whether it's writing, painting, cooking, or gardening, solitude gives you the freedom to experiment and express yourself in ways that feel authentic to you. Solitude also allows for deeper reflection and self-exploration. It's an opportunity to check in with yourself, to reassess your goals and values, and to make adjustments to your life path as needed. This introspection can lead to significant personal growth and a clearer sense of direction. Learning to enjoy your own company is crucial. This involves cultivating self-love and appreciation for who you are when no one else is around. Enjoying your own company means you can be happy and content, regardless of your social situation, reinforcing the idea that your worth is not dependent on the presence or approval of others. It's important to distinguish healthy solitude from isolating behaviors. Healthy solitude is chosen, enriching and balanced with social interactions. It's about finding a harmony between connecting with yourself and with others. If solitude ever feels more like isolation, it might be time to reach out for social connections or support. Lastly, embracing solitude as a joyful practice can enhance your relationships with others. By becoming more attuned to your own needs and desires, you develop a greater capacity for empathy and connection. You bring a more authentic self to your interactions, fostering deeper, and more meaningful relationships. Rediscovering joy in solitude is an invitation to pause, reflect, and reconnect with yourself. It's about finding contentment and fulfillment within, which in turn, enriches every aspect of your life. Solitude becomes not just a place of retreat, but a vibrant space of discovery, growth, and joy. Embrace the quiet moments, for they hold the keys to self-awareness, 
creativity, and inner peace. Let solitude be your sanctuary, a place where you can recharge and emerge refreshed and ready to engage with the world from a place of strength and authenticity. In solitude, you find the freedom to truly love your damn self. Chapter 7. Building Authentic Connections The relationships we form with others bring color, depth, and meaning to our existence. Yet, the foundation of truly fulfilling connections is built on the bedrock of self-love. This chapter delves into how prioritizing self-love not only enhances our relationship with ourselves, but also transforms our interactions with others, leading to more authentic and rewarding connections. At the heart of authentic connections lies the courage to be vulnerable. Vulnerability, often misconceived as a weakness, is actually a strength. It is the gateway to deeper intimacy and trust in relationships. When we embrace self-love, we find the confidence to show our true selves, imperfections and all. This authenticity invites others to do the same, fostering a space where genuine bonds can flourish. Listening is as important as sharing in the dance of connection. Active listening, where we truly hear and seek to understand the other person, demonstrates respect and value for their experiences and perspectives. It's a form of love and action, creating a bridge between hearts and minds. Through self-love, we learn to listen not just with our ears, but with our hearts, recognizing the significance of each person's story. Empathy is the natural companion to listening. It allows us to step into another's shoes, to feel with them, and to acknowledge their emotions without judgment. Self-love cultivates empathy by healing our own emotional wounds, enabling us to connect with others in their moments of vulnerability without being overwhelmed by our own unresolved issues. Setting healthy boundaries, as explored in previous chapters, is crucial in nurturing authentic connections. Boundaries communicate our values, limits, and respect for ourselves and others. They ensure that relationships are built on mutual respect and understanding. When we love ourselves enough to set and honor these boundaries, we invite relationships that reflect and respect our true worth. The practice of gratitude plays a pivotal role in building and sustaining authentic connections. Appreciating the unique qualities and contributions of others and expressing this gratitude openly strengthens bonds and fosters positivity in our relationships. Self-love teaches us to see the beauty in ourselves and to recognize and celebrate it in those around us. Forgiveness, both of ourselves and others, is essential in maintaining healthy, authentic connections. Holding on to grudges or past hurts only serves to poison our relationships and our own well-being. Self-love encourages us to forgive, not to condone hurtful behavior, but to free ourselves from the chains of bitterness and to open the door to healing and reconciliation. Investing time and energy into relationships is necessary for them to grow and thrive. Authentic connections don't happen by chance. They require effort, commitment, and nurturing. Self-love empowers us to invest in relationships that are reciprocal and enriching, recognizing that our time and energy are precious resources to be shared with those who value and respect us. Lastly, celebrating the success and happiness of others is a testament to the strength of your connections. Genuine relationships are marked by a shared joy in each other's achievements and happiness, free from envy or competition. Through self-love, we learn to find joy within ourselves, which enables us to genuinely celebrate with others, further deepening our connections. As we cultivate self-love and navigate the complexities of human relationships, we discover that the most authentic connections are those that mirror the love and respect we have for ourselves. These connections are characterized by mutual respect, understanding, and a shared journey of growth and discovery. Embrace the principles outlined in this chapter, and watch as your relationships transform into more meaningful, fulfilling connections. Remember, the journey to loving your damn self is also a journey towards building a life enriched with deep, authentic relationships. Chapter 8 Empowering Your Voice Finding and using your voice is a vital step in loving yourself and living authentically. Your voice, your ability to express your thoughts, feelings, and needs is a powerful tool for shaping your life and impacting those around you. 
This chapter explores how to cultivate and use your voice in a way that reflects your true self, fostering greater self-respect and enriching your relationships. Empowering your voice begins with self-awareness. It involves recognizing your values, beliefs, and the unique perspectives you bring to the world. This clarity is the foundation upon which you can build a strong, confident voice. Self-love encourages you to value your opinions and feelings, understanding that they are worthy of expression. Building confidence in your voice often requires stepping out of your comfort zone. It means practicing speaking up in situations where you might normally stay silent, whether in personal relationships at work or in social settings. Each time you assert yourself, you reinforce your belief in your own worth and strengthen your voice. Effective communication is key to empowering your voice. This involves not only speaking, but also listening engaging in true dialogue, where all parties feel heard and valued. Techniques such as active listening, clear and concise expression, and empathetic response can enhance your communication skills, making your voice more impactful. Assertiveness training can be incredibly valuable in empowering your voice. It teaches you how to express your needs and desires firmly and respectfully, without being aggressive or passive. Assertiveness is about finding the balance between honoring your own rights and respecting those of others, a skill that significantly boosts self-esteem and personal effectiveness. Understanding the power of language is another aspect of empowering your voice. The words you choose can influence both how your message is received and how you perceive yourself. Positive, assertive language can inspire confidence in yourself and your listeners, making your communication more effective. Facing and overcoming the fear of rejection or criticism is a critical step in empowering your voice. Fear often holds us back from expressing our true selves. Recognizing that rejection is not a reflection of your worth, but simply a part of human interaction can free you to use your voice more freely and authentically. Developing resilience is essential for when your voice is challenged. Not everyone will agree with or support your views, and that's okay. Resilience allows you to stand firm in your beliefs and values, even in the face of opposition or indifference. It's about embracing your voice as a reflection of your authentic self, regardless of external validation. Finally, Using your voice for advocacy, whether for yourself or others, can be profoundly empowering. It's an opportunity to make a difference, to stand up for what you believe in, and to contribute to the greater good. Self-love amplifies your capacity for compassion and action, driving you to use your voice in service of causes you care about. Empowering your voice is a journey of self-discovery, courage and growth. It's about embracing the full range of your emotions and thoughts and expressing them in ways that are true to you. As you grow more comfortable in using your voice, you'll find it not only enriches your life, but also inspires those around you to find and use their voices as well. Remember, your voice is a reflection of your unique self. Honor it, nurture it, and use it boldly and with love. In doing so, you step into a world of greater authenticity, connection, and fulfillment. Chapter 9 living your truth every day. Embracing self-love and living authentically is a commitment to yourself that extends beyond moments of introspection. It's about making choices that reflect your true self in every aspect of your life. This final chapter focuses on integrating the principles of self-love into your daily actions, ensuring that every day is a step towards a more fulfilling, authentic existence. Living your truth begins with acknowledging your intrinsic worth. Recognize that you are deserving of love, respect, and happiness simply by being who you are. This belief is the cornerstone of making decisions that honor your values, needs, and desires. It empowers you to pursue paths that resonate with your true self, rather than conforming to external expectations. Making decisions that align with your authentic self requires courage and honesty. It means saying no to things that don't serve you and yes to opportunities that inspire growth and joy. Whether it's in your career, relationships, or personal goals, choose paths that reflect your true interests and aspirations. Incorporating self-love into your daily routine is about creating habits that nourish your mind, body, and soul. This could mean setting aside time for activities that make you feel alive, 
eating foods that energize and heal your body, or engaging in self-reflection to understand your emotions and thoughts more deeply. These practices are not selfish, but essential acts of self-care that enable you to show up fully in every area of your life. Communication is a powerful tool in living your truth. Expressing your thoughts, feelings and needs openly and honestly enhances your relationships and prevents misunderstandings. It's also a form of self-respect, signaling to yourself and others that your voice matters. Practice clear, compassionate communication and watch as your connections deepen and your self-esteem grows. Embracing vulnerability is part of living authentically. It involves letting go of the need for perfection and control, and instead, showing up as your genuine self, complete with your strengths and weaknesses. This openness not only fosters stronger connections with others, but also encourages a culture of empathy and acceptance. Challenging limiting beliefs is essential for personal growth. Identify thoughts that hold you back from fully embracing your true self and question their validity. Replace them with empowering beliefs that support your journey towards self-love and authenticity. This mental shift can transform your perspective, opening up new possibilities for how you live and relate to the world. Creating a supportive community around you is crucial. Surround yourself with people who recognize and celebrate your unique self. A nurturing environment bolsters your confidence and provides a safety net as you explore and express your authentic self. Remember, the quality of your relationships often reflects the quality of your life. Finally, practicing gratitude amplifies the joy of living authentically. Take time to appreciate the beauty in your life, the progress you've made, and the people who support you. Gratitude shifts your focus from what's lacking to the abundance that exists, fostering a sense of contentment and appreciation for the present moment. Living your truth every day is not without its challenges but the rewards are immeasurable. It leads to a life of deeper fulfillment, stronger connections, and personal integrity. As you move forward, remember that self-love is the guiding light on your path to authenticity. Let it illuminate your decisions, relationships, and the way you show up in the world. By embracing the principles discussed throughout this book, you're not just loving your damn self. You're creating a life that's rich with purpose, joy, and authenticity. Carry these lessons with you and let them shape your days into expressions of your true self. Congratulations on completing this journey. May you continue to live boldly, love freely, and shine brightly as your most authentic self.